Hello and welcome, this is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more For the King. And we managed to complete our quest and finish off the King's Maze, and now it's time to go get our next quest from another town. Now, our party's pretty beat up after that quest. As a matter of fact, Robin Hood's on the verge of death here. But unfortunately, we're nowhere near to town, and I think that's going to be the best way for us to get healed up. So... I'm going to move over with Will Scarlet into the boat. I don't know if that will draw the other party members in. We'll find out here in a second. Yeah, so we can pick up party. And then... There is no, as I said, towns nearby. And as much as there is this town over here, kind of close to the coast... We have all this poison land we'd have to walk through. We could go up this way. Which is more in the direction we need to go anyway. And then there's a town not far from the coast as well. Trying to see, uh, I think, wasn't there a... Okay, so that's not a good thing. Thought I uncovered a sanctum somewhere. Hmm. Not sure if I did or not, I don't remember. But I could have swore I had another sanctum to take a look at. Well, we'll go along the coast here and we'll see if we can get over to that town. As we go. Okay, so, fortunately, we can move along here. And I don't know if anything crazy happens at night while you're on the water. Okay. Looks like there was some poison land here that went away. We're going to make a beeline for the coast here. We get a strong breeze, so that's going to help out. And it looks like we can just get right up to the coastline here. So that when it's Robin Hood's turn, he can move right on through. And that should be enough to get him into the town. Okay, so let's move there. And it looks like we got there okay. So first things first, let's take a look at his inventory and what he has and what we don't need anymore. So we've got a bunch of these assassin's bows. I just think I've decided that I don't really want them as the weapon that we have right now, the curve bow. I think it's slightly better. It's actually pretty close, but... I don't think we're going to be using these. So we're going to sell both of them. And we also don't want this bone club. So we'll be selling that. I'm not sure if we're going to be selling this. The splint mail, I think for sure we're going to be selling. Wooden tower shield. I think I kind of decided this wasn't all that great. So we're going to be selling that. We've got our old composite bow that we'll be selling. And then the mage robe. It's good because it gives you a lot of resistance and things, but... I think overall, our other party members have better gear, but I'm just going to hold on to it just to be certain. And I also want to hold on to this just to be certain as well. All right, well, we got a fair amount of gold here. 415, that's really good. I might even trade that off with other people in my party. But let's first go to the town market and see what we've got. So, more than likely... Seriously, 216 for God's Beard? Yeah, okay, so this, this is something I have long complained about, the ramping up of cost of items. This has become ridiculous. The fact that it costs this much for a basic healing item is ludicrous. And this is my biggest complaint with the balancing in the game. These items should not go up in cost. They should remain a flat amount of money. Yes, you get more gold as you play the game, but the need for these items goes up as well. And to make them cost that much money, I mean, I have 415 gold with Robin Hood. I can only buy one of these, and then I run out of enough gold to buy another one. That is ludicrous. And it just makes the prospect of you being able to heal your party almost non-existent. I don't even want to know what the services are going to cost in this town, but let's find out. Oh, 108 to rest at the inn? That sounds like a good deal. <sighs> Alright, well, I, be, I don't really don't have a choice, but... I mean, I could go to the healer and get fully healed. I'm always curious of, of whether the inn even gives us full healing at this point. I don't know if this pipe smith is the thing to do either. This this was something I, I mentioned in a previous video. Something Somebody mentioned in the comments, and at the first, I didn't know what they were talking about because I'd never heard of pipes, and they I think they said in the comment, upgrade your pipes in town, and I, I didn't know what they were talking about, and I think it was this, the pipe smith. Maybe that was something I was supposed to be doing a long time ago when it was more than likely more affordable, but I just I didn't understand what it did because it doesn't really necessarily explain it, and I also don't know where it is listed anywhere, if it is listed at all. 
Okay, right here, pipe level. Okay, so I... And again, maybe this is something that was in the tutorial, like the, I, I don't want to say tutorial, but is in the information for the game that I just missed. But clearly this is something maybe I should have been doing. And I've learned my lesson for a future playthrough. Apparently upgrading your pipe is a big way uh, of succeeding in this game. I still do not agree with the ramping up of costs of different services. I feel like there is better ways to balance the game. I don't necessarily have as much of a problem with different locations having different costs, which is also clearly the case. But this becomes kind of ludicrous, where you're having to spend a quarter of the gold you have just to stay at an inn to heal your party, which has been devastated by a quest. Healing needs to be something that can be more readily done. I understand the concept of this game is for it to be very hard, but at this point, I have seven hit points. I have no choice but to do this. Well, we're going to do it. And we don't even half heal ourselves by spending a quarter of the gold that we have. So, yeah, I'm sorry, but that that's something that really needs to be addressed in the balancing of this game. As, as I've said in the past, I feel like every other aspect of this game is pretty much there. The, what, what resources need to be there to make this a fun game, I think is there. I just think the balancing is where it's really at. And for me right now, the balancing is just not where it needs to be. It's, it's, it's well away from where it needs to be. I think some changes have been made with the enemy difficulty, but I think the scaling cost of things, the scaling difficulty of things, uh, the ramp up the up, uh, the ramp up of that cost and difficulty as you progress through the quests, that is a little bit too too much in my opinion. But let's just continue forward here, and. Also, the distribution of weapons seems to be not particularly balanced as well. I will point out, it seems like having a strength-based party member is more the way to go because it seems like there's far more weapons for that. And the fact that we didn't go that route is actually costing me pretty dearly, in my opinion. But I think for now, uh, there's not really a whole lot to buy here outside of just healing up the party and maybe getting some God's Beard, but I, I almost refuse to spend that kind of money on that. I do want to upgrade my pipe, and it does seem like that goes up to the point where we can very easily afford that with our party members now. So I'm going to upgrade pipe, and then I am, I am also going to rest at the inn here. And that will heal me up, at least with Will Scarlet, at least almost fully. Okay, so we got five movement points. We're going to be moving into the town yet again. And I'm going to have to actually borrow gold here. So what did we need? 108. I'm just going to give myself, well, that would be 42 exactly. I'm going to give myself a lot more. Is there a way to type in? There we go. Let's, uh, let's just do 100 here. That seems like a good amount, and give, okay, and then services, we're going to want to upgrade uh, our pipe, and then we're going to want to rest at the end, because yet again, our party's pretty beat up here. I'm probably going to have to rest yet again with Robin Hood to get him full health. And... I am not for certain here, but let me just stop in this town here real quick. I have not seen a Tinder, what, what is it called, Tinder box for sale anywhere. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think I've seen it for sale anywhere. And that seems to be a really uh, powerful item, especially as I had one stolen from me early in the game. That seems to be a pretty heavy consequence for an item that is almost impossible to get, that you only get, apparently, when you start the game. But, again, I don't want to be complaining too much, because I really do like this game, but I just want to point out some of the things that I really hope will be improved. Okay, so now that we're here, uh, I don't think I was selling items that I probably should have, and also I wanted to take a look at the... Okay, so plus three armor, plus six resistance, plus one max focus, and plus three intelligence. Let's take a look at... I also kind of wish that the inventory uh, screens were a little bit easier to manage in between. So this looks like it's a straight-up upgrade for uh, Will Scarlet here. So I am going to pass that over. I believe it is, anyway. Let's, let's just do a confirm here. So... 
That would be under Mage Robe. So yeah, so our old one was plus three armor, plus six resistance, plus one max focus, and then we uh, we lose some strength, but we gain some intelligence. We don't really use intelligence, but I, I think the other things that we get here uh, are definitely worth it. So let's go ahead and equip. And then we're going to sell. Well, I, I'm thinking about selling, but let's just make sure that we're, we're not making a bad decision here. So this looks like it's a straight up a good thing for us, the Explorer's Cloak. So I'm going to keep that. And I think we're going to go through and we're going to sell some of these things. So the dull spears for sure are selling. I mean, they're, they're, they're crap items. I'm actually curious as to why I, I was, I was given them. Uh, the U staff we're going to be selling. And I think the apprentice robe here as well is going to be a sell. And then the hide boots, I think is going to be a sell here. And then... Finally, we have the uh, Feral Mage Hat. I'll sell that as well. I don't think that really benefits anyone in our party. So we'll go ahead and sell that. So we got some good gold there. And I think we're going to do the same thing over here with Marion. We're going to go through her list of items. So Wooden Round Shield, that's an old item. We're going to get rid of that. Sturdy Leather Helm, that's an old item. We're going to be getting rid of that. Bone Buckler. That, I don't think, is worth the reduction in armor. So we're going to be getting rid of that. Traveling boots. It, we have better with the Explorer's boots, so we're going to be getting rid of that. Uh, spike shield. Yeah, I think this is worth getting rid of as well. We have two of those. The pitchfork is our old weapon, and it is a downgrade, so we'll be selling that. And then another very old item that we've been holding on to. It'd be probably nice to use this treasure map at some point if I remember that I have it. Okay, so we've sold off some items. Unfortunately, we're still really down on gold. I I think I have to rest the town again, so we're just going to go in. And I could upgrade my pipe, but honestly, I'd prefer to upgrade the pipe of somebody in my party that would be more uh, uh, that would be of more benefit to. I also have zero healing items, so I don't really see the need to do that right now while I have zero healing, healing items, and I can't afford healing items right now either. All right, so we'll do that. We'll still not get fully healed, but we'll get... Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have done a, a full heal. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to my focus. A lot of that I was trying to do to regain my focus. Well, well. Let's get back in the boat. We should be able to draw our party members in, I believe, if I am understanding that correctly. So pick up party. And there we go. So now we can move along to where our quest is. And... I mean, maybe I should be fighting some uh, fights here. Wow, the Mindbender damage uh, was danger level 7. So, I don't know if we want to tackle something quite that dangerous. So, let's go along the coast. Go towards where our quest objective is. Okay, good max movement here. Okay, Bone Lord, Master Thief. I see danger level 7 is not something I really want to tackle, I don't think. But at the same time, is there any opponents that are actually not at that level? We do have an experience. Ooh, that has finally ramped up to plus 96, so that's good to see as well. Maybe that's a, another balance change they've made recently. So... I want to look around, though, and see, is there actually any fights that we would have stand a chance? Maybe we should have stayed in this area and do some more fights, but I, I think I do want to... I don't want to fight a Master Thief, though, because he might just steal my money and run away, which I would absolutely hate. So, oh, it is a different type of statue, though, I think. Hmm. Maybe we go after the Bone Lord if we get over there uh, in time. So, we should move along. You know, the Chaos Henchman might be a good fight for us, but that kind of takes me out of my way. So, I think I'm going to just fight this Bone Lord, maybe. But first, I'm going to go along the coast here. It would be interesting to see some naval-based opponents or enemies, but 
At the moment, it doesn't appear that there are any of those. All right, I am going to try and do an ambush here because we are uh, controlling uh, Marion right now. And ideally, we'd want, only want to fight one of these guys. So, ambush. I am going to blow a focus point to make it more of a sure chance. There we go. And we'll see how dangerous a, a, a danger level 7 opponent is by itself. So, we're going to want to do the armor break. I'm not going to blow any focus points, though. So, we're just going to have to hope for good luck, which we did get. Now, what happened there? We took damage. Maybe he has some kind of... Uh, maybe that damage deflect is, is partly to play with that. All right, well, we're going to want to do the armor break again. And we get another good shot there. So we actually have a really good chance. That's It's, inter it's interesting, even though we ambushed the guy, that he managed to go before uh, Will Scarlet did. Not really sure how that works, but we'll try and pierce the armor again. And get another success and manage to kill the Bone Lord. Okay. And then we're going to go right into the town, which is my quest. Okay, so... I, Marsa Yensis, welcome you to Hasta. I represent the Council of Hasta and serve as the Queen's agent in the Parched Waste. Now that sounds like a nice place to live. Okay, the shield is down, but the rocks around, okay, the, the tower prevent landfall with a conventional ship. I, however, have access to an airship, but it needs a mighty power source. Of course it does. Nearby lie the Dropstones, Dropstone Badlands, a cursed place. Go there and seek two caves. Kill anything within and bring me what you find. Okay, Purge Demon Cave and uh, the Badlands. Okay, so they're both called Demon Cave. All right. That's a pretty far way away. All right. Uh, I didn't really take a look at the quest board over there, but I think we could probably do that here. So, Retrieval. What is this about? Okay, a courier is needed, willing to pay for the pickup and safe return of a supply list from the temple near the Sanctum of Purity will pay upon delivery. Okay, so we have to bring it back to Hasta. Now, that is unfortunate because I have no idea where this location is. This is another thing that when these are yellow like this, you, there should be a thing where you could click on it and see where it is. But I don't know if that's a good uh, move for us or not. Mind Melter, we know that's a damage, uh, danger level 7. Uh, kill the Ogre and the Parched Waste. I don't know if that's a dangerous task or not. If we do that, our reward is rubbish. Wow, that sounds like an awesome item. I don't know if that's a good item or not, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know where the Sanctum of Purity is, so I don't really want to backtrack if I, you know, if I can avoid it. I think I'm going to try and tackle this ogre, but I don't know where it's going to spawn him, so we'll accept. Okay, it's going to put him way over there. Uh, I mean, that's kind of where our quest is going to end up, though, so... If, I, if I'm remembering correctly. So, one of our quest locations is kind of in that area. I think what we'll probably want to do is get back on the boat. And then... Maybe come this way and then drop get dropped off here. Because this area, this waste area, you move incredibly slowly in if you get stuck here. And it would take us forever to cross. I mean, maybe we go after uh, this. I don't know who would need it the most, but it might be best if, if Marion goes after it. Because she's already here. Alright, well, in any case, I think there's a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.